From the magnificent bridges and aeroplanes to the humble but useful ladder that we use every day, metals are extensively used in agriculture, construction and various industries. Non-metals are equally important. Some are used in the production of bleaches, dyes, insecticides, fertilizers, plastics and matches. The uses of metals and non-metals in our daily lives are related to their special properties. Can you give some examples of the uses of metals and non-metals and explain why they are suitable for a particular use? At the end of this lesson, you should be able to relate the physical properties of metals and non-metals to their uses in daily life. Metals account for about four-fifths of all the elements and about 45% the mass of the planet. Metals are widely used because of their hardness, strength, ductility, malleability and conductivity of heat. Let us look at the properties of some metals and how they are used in our daily lives. Click on the various metals. Iron is the most frequently encountered metal in daily life. Observe the videos to learn of some of the uses of iron. What are the properties of iron that make it suitable to be used in the structure shown? Click the check button to find out. Due to its strength, toughness and malleability, Iron is often used in construction and to make ships, cars and bridges. Aluminum is the third most abundant element in the Earth's crust. Aluminum, in its pure form, is a silvery white metal with many desirable characteristics. Click on the pictures to learn of its properties and uses. Aluminum combined with copper will produce duralumin, an alloy to make parts of aeroplanes. Soft drink cans are made of aluminum because it is light, non-toxic, malleable and corrosion resistant. Aluminum is a popular choice to make window frames because it is light, strong and corrosion resistant. Due to its high heat conductivity, strength and non-toxicity, Aluminum is used to make saucepans for cooking. Uses of Gold in Daily Life Gold or aurum is the most precious of all metals. It is shiny, lustrous, corrosion resistant, very malleable and ductile. It also has a high electrical conductivity and is very valuable. Given all these properties, what uses of gold can you think of? Click the check button to find out. The ductility, malleability, high electrical conductivity and resistance to corrosion make it suitable for gold to be used in electrical and electronic components. Its beautiful and lustrous shine, malleability and ductility, plus the fact that it is a precious metal, makes gold suitable to be used for jewellery and coins.
Uses of Copper in Daily Life Copper is one of the most important metals. It is said to have been mined for more than 5,000 years. Click on the pictures to learn about the uses of copper. Copper is strong, non-toxic, ductile and lustrous. As such, it is suitable to be made as ornaments. Due to its electrical conductivity, copper is widely used as electrical wire. Due to its heat conductivity, copper is also used in making cooking utensils. Uses of Tin in Daily Life Tin is also known as stannum. It is one of the principal metals mined in our country. It does not tarnish easily and has little tensile strength or ductility, so is usually made into an alloy or for plating. Tin is widely used as the chief component of pewter. The alloy pewter is a mixture of tin with lead, brass or copper. Uses of Lead in Daily Life Lead or plumbum is strong, malleable, corrosion-resistant and cheap. It is used in making car batteries. Zinc has many commercial and industrial uses. One of the biggest uses of zinc is in making protective coatings for iron and steel. This is done by dipping steel or iron in molten zinc. This process is known as galvanization. Can you explain why zinc is suitable as a protective coating for iron and steel? Zinc is more reactive than iron or steel. Therefore, it will corrode preferentially to give protection to these metals. What other uses of zinc can you think of with regards to its reactive properties? Click the check button to find out. Due to its reactive nature, malleability and hardness, zinc is used in zinc carbon cells. Uses of non-metals in daily life Non-metals such as chlorine, sulfur and carbon are used extensively in industries such as chemicals and plastics. Click on each of the elements to find out. Uses of chlorine in daily life Chlorine is a yellowish-green acidic gas with bleaching properties. It is used to bleach pulp wood and as a commercial bleaching agent. Chlorine is used in the manufacturing of hydrochloric acid and polyvinyl chloride or PVC. Because of its disinfectant properties, chlorine is used in water treatment plants and swimming pools to kill harmful bacteria. Uses of Sulphur in Daily Life 
Sulfur is an important industrial raw material which is used in many chemical products. Click on the highlighted word in blue to look at some of these products. Sulfur burns easily. Thus, it is used in making matches, firecrackers and fireworks. Uses of non-metals in daily life Diamond is carbon in its brilliant and lustrous form. Diamonds, craftily cut and polished, are set as gemstones in jewellery and other precious ornaments. Because diamond is the hardest substance known, it is used to cut, grind and polish most hard substances. Diamonds are also used to make drilling heads. Graphite is another form of carbon that is soft, slippery, but is a good conductor of electricity. Based on these properties, what uses of graphite can you think of? Click on the picture to find out. Because of its good electrical conductivity, Graphite is used as electrodes in dry cell. Its soft and slippery nature makes it suitable as a dry lubricant. It is also being used as a pencil lead. Name the metal or non-metal used to make the products shown and state the reason for using them. Key in your answers in the blank spaces. Complete the crossword puzzle. Which of the following metals fit the description below? A. Tin B. Zinc C. Copper D. Aluminium Your answer is correct. Which of the following statements is true about chlorine? A. It burns easily B. It is malleable C. It is soluble in water. D. It has a high melting and boiling point. Your answer is correct. Why is zinc used to coat iron objects? A. Zinc is much cheaper than iron. B. Zinc is more reactive than iron. C. Zinc is more corrosion resistant than iron. D. Zinc reacts slowly compared to iron.
Your answer is correct. Which of the following properties of copper makes it suitable for making cooking pots and pans? 1. Non-toxic 2. Corrosion resistant 3. Good heat conductivity 4. Good electrical conductivity That's not right. Please try again. Your answer is correct. Figure 1 shows a non-metal that burns easily. The non-metal is used in making 1. Fungicides 2. Matches 3. Lubricants 4. Polyvinyl chloride or PVC Your answer is correct. Metals and non-metals have different properties. Discuss the different properties based on A. Heat conductivity B. Melting and boiling point C. Tensile strength In this lesson, we learned that metals and non-metals are widely used in our daily lives. The uses of metals and non-metals are related to their properties. Click the example of metals and non-metals to learn their uses. Due to its strength, toughness and malleability, Iron is often used in construction and to make ships, cars and bridges. Aluminum is light, strong, corrosion resistant, high heat conductivity, non-toxic and malleable, suitable to make aeroplane parts, window frames and soft drink cans. It is strong, corrosion-resistant, hard, reactive and malleable. It is used to make zinc carbon cells and coating in galvanized iron objects. Due to its high electrical and heat conductivity, strong, ductile, corrosion-resistant, non-toxic and malleable, it is used for electrical wires, cooking utensils, water pipe for plumbing and ornaments. It is lustrous, malleable, ductile, corrosion resistant, high electrical conductivity, suitable to make jewellery, electrical and electronic components. It does not tarnish easily and has little tensile strength or ductility, so it is used in making alloy or plating. Lead or plumbum is strong, malleable, corrosion resistant and cheap. It is used in making car batteries. Graphite is used as electrodes in dry cells because of its good electrical conductivity. Its soft and slippery nature makes it suitable as a dry lubricant. It is also being used as a lead for pencils. Diamond shines and sparkles brilliantly when cut and polished. It is very hard and has a high melting point used in making drilling heads, glass cutting and mineral exploration drills.
It is an acidic gas with bleaching properties, used in the bleaches, purification of drinking water, treats waste water and swimming pools. Sulfur burns easily. Thus, it is used in the making of matches, crackers and fireworks. Iron is the best known metal which is used widely in our daily life. It is strong, tough, highly malleable and cheap compared to other metals. Click info button to know more about ions. The property of iron in the transformer is that it can be induced to provide a strong magnetic field with only small excitation by an electric current. Iron is essential to life, especially to animals with red blood cells. The best way to improve low iron blood is to consume more foods high in iron as shown above.